Hey guys, it's uh, Joe Lyons from The Automator with Isaiah, and uh, someone wrote out to me, Kurt Jaimungle, he he actually has a, a YouTube channel, um, and it's really interesting, we, we'll share the link here in a second, uh, it's called Theories of Everything with Kurt, I've watched some of the videos, they're really intense, um, yeah. I'll tell you, if you want to feel stupid, watch some of these videos, they're, they're, they're really <laughs> like, level you up, um, yeah. well, actually, why don't you go ahead and share, you have it pulled up? Yes, I do, I actually, let me go ahead and open up. It will include the link in the description to the channel. Uh, yes, but he, yes, he programs yes. an auto hotkey and he had this idea for something. Uh, apparently he uses Google Docs um, and he wants to quickly bold things. And he thought, hey, because he programs on a hockey, he's like, hey, I'll, uh, I'll, um, I'll write it on a hockey. This will be simple. Um, it turns out it was actually more complicated than he thought. And he asked if I could help. And I said, let me take a quick look. And I'm like, it was more complicated than I thought. Thankfully, I have his AS because... Um, I'm like yeah uh, and actually it was actually more complicated than i thought too because I, I said like you know what i could i could write this very quick and i did write it in a few minutes but then there were some little weird things going on and i was like hold on yeah. <laughs> uh, but in the end yeah we were able to 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 come up with it and it is working uh, in a way that uh, might be uh useful for a lot of people again this is a channel from uh, Kurt J. Mungle, right? I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing this name, his name wrong, but it is a very good channel. I, I was actually taking a look at it uh, myself as well, and I was like, okay, those are very good videos. Um, and his idea of bolding automatically is yeah, very cool. Like I said, like, yeah, that's that's a yeah. very cool thing, right? And of course, anyone, you could adapt this to, you want to italicize or underline yeah. or whatever, yeah. pretty quickly, yeah. right? It's super simple. So now the code is very simple. Again, this was just a few lines of code, like 60 lines of codes. Again, it was very quick to, it was very quick for us to write it down. Zoom in is, just a little bit on the, yeah, on the sure. code, so people are looking at it. Of course, we'll make it available, but thanks. Yes, of course, you can go ahead and take a look at the code. Um, it is gonna be available there. Uh, but the funny thing is uh, this uh, code, it is very short. It is very simple to write, to be written, right? But there are some very tricky stuff with when you're counting the clicks. And one of the ways that I actually kind of like went around it, it was to setting up a timer that checks how much time you took to click, right? Because we wanted to uh, grab a double click and we also wanted to grab a drag uh, a, a dragging, you know, selecting text. So a double click has a time set to it. Like most of the people double click in less than 500 milliseconds, but um, selecting, right, uh, text uh, takes a little bit longer. But I also wanted to make sure that clicking once wouldn't trigger the double click later on. Because if you click once and count it, right, and then you click the second time, it's gonna say, oh, you clicked before. But that's not how it works. If you clicked once and then passes a little time later, then I, you don't want to count that one because that doesn't count for the double click. So it was a little bit more tricky than it looked like. And the way uh, I was not used to using these hotkeys uh, uh, variables, because when I started coding a few years ago, like 10 years ago, those variables were not there. So now when I'm kind of like looking at them, like, okay, yeah, I know that I could use them, how can I leverage them? And it was very fun to code. Uh, it took me a little uh, while to kind of like get it without bugs, but yeah, here it is. We go ahead and uh, run the script. So the script and, itself, and, yeah. No, not, I was gonna say line 14. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't, it's not on by default. Right, uh, line 14. Uh, so I was gonna say that the script is running in the background. So the the, the thing is not going to make the things bold automatically. You have to use a hotkey, which we arbitrarily set to F9, which we could change to whatever you want, or we will add it later on for you a way to change it via GUI or something, but it doesn't matter. In any case, uh, it is kind of like a toggle. If you press F9, it's going to turn it on. And if you press it again, it's going to turn it off. But after you turn it on, for example, in this uh, it, it works everywhere. Right now, he wanted it specifically for Google Docs, but we just uh, created it for everywhere. Um, and that's the line here, when line you 12. When it on, it ties it to the active program, right? Yes, that's, it that's does, the... right, right. Now, that means that the active program should <laughs> accept Control-B right. as the way of bolding, because if it does something else, 
for control B, then that's what it's going to do, right? But in any case, if you need it for just one program, you could use it here on line 12 and change it to whatever program you want. If you wanted it for Google Docs, we wanted it for everywhere, it doesn't matter. Now, in this case, I just go ahead and press F9, and you will see that Auto Bold is on as it is being shown. And if I double click on a word, it goes ahead and bolts that, right? Now, if I want to uh, do that, it also works. If you go ahead and do the same, it actually unbolts it, right? So the script, the concept is very cool. It seems to me that uh, he wants to type a lot of things and then after he's done, he just press F9 and then he just goes ahead and double clicks words like this, uh, whatever he finds out of hotkey, just goes ahead and makes it bold, right? And basically it's a very, very interesting concept. I like it. I actually use it myself. Well, uh, yeah. It yeah, makes it very easy for me to go ahead and do this kind of things, right? right. Back to the point whatever you wanted to do now now grant i noticed actually in the script because this is we were you know we were solving kurt's problem like exactly what he right, wanted. yeah but in hindsight maybe you don't want to bold so in the name of the the script i saw your function one of the things was like make bold i think was the name of the function or something bold oh um, yeah so, so I, had, I had out of bold here right yeah, so, so um so we'll here you could take it instead yeah. of make bold which is the whole function right we could use other functions. We could call other functions if you want uh, for each uh, hotkey that saying, you want. Yeah, I'm just saying we wouldn't necessarily call it bold, right? Because no, no, of course, yeah, yeah. yeah. The so, name here might be whatever you want. Right. Apply but in our case, yeah. Apply formatting, for example, and, then and it might take four. Was it? I think somewhere right around there. Fifty-four is where it goes ahead and sends the control. Six. Okay. Yeah. Six. So, so that's where so you this would is change. The one that, no. Yeah, so if there's any other hotkey that you want to send, you are, that would be it. Uh, you could grab this whole function and make it a little bit more generalized, right? So, uh, for example... Yeah. This is the easy part, right? It was the other stuff that was really complicated. This stuff is, is the... Right, so like just imagine doing. that I would send, like, format, set format, and just... Well, no, set format would say it. Because there's a variable here return and this would be my set format function and it would have one parameter what type of format you're going to pass now l button and l button up is going to send bold right but control for example l button sending the thing would send the format to italics right so basically, again, if you want, you can generalize the function and just pass it with a parameter. Yeah. And that parameter then is used up here to, if it is bold, if type equals bold, right? Type equals bold, that would be this. Else, like, right? Else, if type is something else, like italics, It'll be control I, I think it is, or something. And just by just like that, I just generalized it in a few minutes. I was not even thinking about doing that right now, but but just to show you how easy it is to generalize a function that you already have, right? And, and we could expand on this even more. Not that I would do it this way, but let's say you were adapting this to HTML, you could actually, you know, have the clipboard, have and it grab it. Yeah, and then yeah, and then yeah, put the the uh, the tags that you need, whatever it is. right? Yeah. yeah. So you right. just grab the clipboard and put the tags that you need right yep. that on the clipboard. But again, you see how easy it is to uh, modify yeah. it, make it a little bit more uh, generalized. But as you can see, um, when you're actually using function it, function is very. Yeah, I'm sorry. I just said the, the usage, that's the cool part is it's so quick and easy to actually go back now instead of doing all this funky stuff, right? You just select. No, you, you just you just change one line. You just add an if statement and now you have whatever you're supposed to have. And, uh, and, and again, now your code, whatever type of changes that you need to do to the code, you do it once. Right. Uh, it, it affects all your other Things. So that's the beauty of functions, right? <laughs> this is one of the things that you that you were talking about. Like when you learned this, it was like, oh my god, right? I, with so, that yeah. webinar the other day, someone was using GoSubs, and I, I really wanted to jump in and be like, dude, if you were using functions, like it would be so much easier. But um, yeah. Yes, exactly. 
But in any case, let's keep the, the code how it was before. But in general, this is a very good uh, example of what you can do easily without a hard key in less than 100 lines of code. Right? It is less than 100 lines of code. And it is pretty useful, <laughs> for example, and very adaptable. You can go ahead and change it to some other uh, interesting things that you want to do. So those are the things that we wanted to present this time, right? Awesome. Thanks again, Kurt, for the, the idea and concept. Yeah. Again, that was really cool for letting us yeah. share it. Cheers. Cheers.